Welcome, Victoria fans, to the first game of their next series, Victoria Vandals versus the Edmonton Oilers. These teams have been very aggressive against each other in the regular season. Both of them are from the Northwest Division. They face each other quite often. And both teams bring great strength to the table. One of the major strengths for Edmonton is their goaltending. Strong goaltending, although slightly weak defense. Both teams have great scores. Players like Forsberg and Karik for Victoria. And tricky forwards like Nielsen for Edmonton. Let's get it started. Game 1, Victoria vs. Edmonton. Opening face-off. Victoria's Forsberg wins it back to defense. Stales ends up with a really quick penalty for interference. You see him here. Light little hit. He gets bumped back himself. Rest call it anyhow. Dwayne Rolson, outstanding goalie, taking lots of shots right off the bat. Good thing because on the other end, Nielsen gained the first goal of the game just about three minutes in. It's in tight. He hammers away at the net. That's the way to do it. Net presence. Keep him down there. Him and Horcroft, good team. They get things done. Coming up quickly after, we have ourselves a penalty. Forsberg getting a little frustrated at that early goal. Trips up a guy in front of the Edmonton net. There you have it. Unnecessary. He was doing alright. Puck wasn't anywhere near there. Kevin Bex was making his present felt against game. Lots of hits. And go ahead there with another hit. Bam! Whole Victoria team. Defense is strong. As a result, you have Edmonton having to play a little bit on the risky side. There you have it. A hook. And that ends up with two men in the box for Edmonton. Not so good for them. Lots of scrums in front of the net. Physical play. Kirik's getting the feel of it, but it's okay. He's a big guy. He can take it. The fans love it anyhow. Soon after, Bieksa. I said he was making a presence felt. There we go. First goal for Victoria. Back to him. That's a signature play for them. Back to the point. Slap shot in. They had success with it. Why not keep it up? Ooh, some heavy hits. Almost knee on knee action there. And then Palmanville puts in another one. Easy for him. Assisted by Perron. Hammering the front of the net, very reminiscent of Edmonton's first goal this game. Seems to be a strategy that works against good goalies, might as well keep it up. They follow again soon after, Lupo. It's his first goal of the playoffs, I believe. Here he comes in. Oh, just squeaks around the Edmonton defense, puts it high on Rolson. Here we go. Boom, Rolson's doing great, dives on the puck to keep it out. And at the end of the first period, you see Victoria show shooting Edmonton quite heavily. Eric Cole starting up the second early goal. No problem there. See him come in. Long shot. Nuango gets the piece of that first one, but defense aren't around to help him out. And Edmonton hammers it home. Crowd's still pretty happy here. They are in Edmonton. They want to see Edmonton win. Of course, it's, they're uh, wishing for the best. They have there another look at BX's goal. Ooh, some hard hits from Victoria on Colliano. He doesn't like that. Forsberg pushes a little bit too far. Ends up tripping up one of uh, Edmonton's defense. Boof, there he goes. Forsberg, we go into the box with that one. Luongo, so far pretty great in this one. Getting everything head on. He's keeping his eye on the puck. That's all it takes. Horcroft, however, makes him think twice. Near the end of the period, he scores a nice little goal. He's pretty happy with that one. A lot of people didn't think Edmonton could compete in this series, but they're proving their critics wrong. There you have it. Over again, Luongo slides across the side, stop it. Just tucks it in ever so gently. That's all it takes with that one. A lot of these little plays in front of the net, that's what's doing it for Edmonton. They have some great shooters, but their real strength is getting in there, being aggressive, and sweeping up any loose pucks that happen to come their way. They won't pass up an opportunity to hammer one home, so Victoria's got to be on the dot with this one. Alright, tons of action here after the first two periods, and we're about to head into the third. As you see here, Victoria's still leading in shots, but Edmonton's catching up. Almost double the time on the attack for Victoria. They gotta make that work to their advantage. They do a bit. Kessler gets his first goal of this series. Coming on in. It's passed in front. Ooh, easy shot for him as Rolson goes spinning. I don't know what he was doing there, but it wasn't stopping the puck. Lupo Gaming gets a little overconfident. Trips up another one of Edmonton's men. You see him going here, passes the puck off. Ooh, not very disciplined with his stick. It's going to hurt them. Hemsky scores a power play goal soon after. And he's not happy about the way that turned out. You see it here. Crosses the blue line. Doesn't wait. Nice hard shot. Longo gets a little piece of it, but squeaks by him. Here we have it. Ooh, M10 passes in front of it. Hammers it home. Look at how close that was. Off the post. Back into Luongo's feet. He ends up saving that one. He's lucky the post was there for him. 
Moreau gets a little penalty for cross-checking in front of his own net. He's trying to play some hard defense, knocking a Victoria player off the puck a little too hard, and that captain will go to the boss. Nielsen's been great this game. He might be a negative three, but he's making his presence felt. Tons of hits. Boof, another crossbar. Doing a lot of work this game. Luongo making some great saves too. And there you have it. Victoria is shorthanded. Taves doesn't care. He'll score anyway near the end of the third. He's trying to put this game home. Boof, Rolson. Half effort there. He got his leg out. Didn't get over there enough. And they're not going to stop that one. It's 5-4 coming up at the end of the third. Victoria wants to shriek. This is a sure thing. Chris Pronger, he's going to come along, put that one in on the empty net. Nice cushion there they have. And with that, Victoria is going to take this first game with a score of 6-4. to four. They're happy about that. It's a little tougher than expected, but that's all right. Next time we'll be back. Game 2, Edmonton versus Victoria. See you then.